Hello, Les from Thailand here and today's video is going to be about solar power and how you can actually recoup the cost very very quickly and uh, because I was an electrician in, in England um, I always liked solar power but to my mind it was always too expensive and it wasn't really worth it the amount of money that you're going to put into it before you get your decent return but now things have changed solar has become very very cheap and in this video I'm going to show you how quickly you can get your money back on various investments. So watch the video. Hi, I've started to do some solar work here and today's discussion is going to be about how quickly you can get your money back on solar lighting. Um, now I, I like lighting around the house it creates a certain ambience and um, you know security effects as well so what I'm going to be talking about today is the 45 watt LED solar powered lights and I'll show you some pictures of, of the ones that I bought and how quickly you can get your money back from these I was quite surprised and I think you will be also and they're a, a brilliant piece of kit so the comparison is going to be solar against the normal 220 volt LED light. So if you bought a 240 volt 45 to 50 watt LED light, then you'd have to pay an electrician to fit it for you and you have to get the wire there and the socket run. So I'm just comparing the prices as if you just bought it without having to pay to get it fitted. So just the energy use alone at 45 watt say running at 10 hours a day so that's 450 watts a day and the cheapest led light that i found that was a 220 volt supply was 750 baht from amazon so it's 750 baht straight away to buy the led light now the lights i'm going to show you here i got from lazada and they're solar powered ones at 45 watt and they cost me 350 baht for the solar panel and the 45 watt light fitting as well so therefore 350 baht so it's half the price straight away from the mains led lights so for running the electricity for 10 hours during the night that's 450 watts times that by say a month 30 days that gives you total wattage use for a month 13,500 watts now here in Thailand, the, the price of electricity is about four baht per one kilowatt. So you'd be using 13.5 kilowatt in a month. So that would cost you 54 baht per month. It doesn't sound a, a lot of money, does it? But it all adds up. So if, if you times that by a year, and then you can see where the, the price comes from. So now this solar light, which costs me 350 baht, divide the 54 baht by the 350 baht to purchase it in the first place and it works out about six and a half months and it's paid for itself so after six and a half months it's actually paid for itself now supposedly there's a three-year warranty on the solar panel and a year's warranty on the light fitting you can never really guarantee on the guarantees over here in thailand because trying to get your money back it, it's worth it it probably cost you more money to send it back to the to the manufacturers so all I'm trying to say is that after six and a half months, the light is actually paid for itself. Now, the one problem I've got to say about these lights is that it's a whole sealed unit. So therefore, the battery is encased in the plastic and you, there's no screw, there's no way of getting into the back of the light fitting. So that's going to be another video when they eventually run out and the, the rechargeable batteries will eventually break. So I'm hoping that I'll get a year's worth of usage out of this before i have to start opening it up and replacing the batteries now if the whole product costs only 350 baht the batteries aren't going to be too much to replace it but it's the fact that you have to replace them and um, i do believe that there are some new lights coming out with replaceable rechargeable batteries keep an eye on my channel i'll let you know more about it but in the meantime i'm just going to be using these and i bought three of them and as you can see by the pictures it lights up our veranda very very nicely on an evening time so okay if you bought the the 220 volt one it's there forever but add the costs on of an electrician to come and wire it in for you 
So even if you only got the six months out of it and then replaced it over the year period, you can have two in the, in the year for the same price as buying the, the one fitment for the 220 volts in the first place. So therefore, you get your money back very, very quickly on this. And it's so easy to fit. It's just a plug and play, hang it up somewhere. Anybody can do it. There's no electrician required, so no costly sockets to be placed. You can just, as long as you've got the panel facing the sun, you can buy extension leads that go onto the, onto the panel. So on the three that I've got, I bought two extension leads. There were 68 baht each. So that gives me like the 15 meters away from the panels. And you can see you buy the panels on the wall. They are not angled at 30 degrees towards the sun. They're flat against the wall, but they're in the sun all day long. So from six hours, when the sun starts to hit the panel, all the lights are charged up. So six hours, even with the, the solar panels flat against the wall, as long as it's facing the sun all day, they'll charge up very, very, very quickly. So that's my little talk about the solar panel and the lighting system that I've purchased and the payback time. Watch my videos again, because I've bought a 340 watt solar panel with a grid tie inverter. And I'm gonna go through another video and tell you about how much money it costs and how much money it's set up and how much money you can save and the payback time for that. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next time, bye for now.